Again, this is your host, Dwayne, with uh, Better Than a Lecture, and we're here with Dr. Stephen C. Finley. And now we're talking about the Bible and how people interpret, misinterpret, use the Bible religiously and its possible ties to unknown objects that are in the air flying about. Correct. And I think there are a lot of traditions uh, of Christian and those that are uh, something other than, than Christian that use sacred texts uh, and the Bible to think about and interpret various phenomena that they want to cast as UFOs. And as you're probably already aware, uh, that first chapter of Ezekiel is one of the most important ones. You know, Ezekiel's vision, of course. So let me preface this by saying I'm not usually that interested in the, in the Bible as a, as a scholar or as a scholarly source. But in the traditions that I study, there are some texts that become important inspiration for thinking about UFOs that also render UFOs sacred because they also see these going on in the sacred texts or the, the Hebrew Bible or the Christian Old Testament and New Testament, uh, as well as other texts. And so Ezekiel becomes an important text here because many religious traditions, including the Nation of Islam, cast uh, uh, Ezekiel chapter one and Ezekiel's vision of the wheel within a wheel as a UFO and are always making reference back to that particular biblical text as support for their understanding of the importance of UFOs in their tradition. But of course, there it's not just the nation of Islam, there are Christian traditions too of uh, seeing UFOs throughout the Bible. In fact, I'm glad you mentioned that. Uh, now, this is, a, this is a classic text by Barry H. Downing that was published in 1968. And of course, the title is The Bible and Flying Saucers. And so the very question you asked is, is an important one, an interesting one, but not a new one. This book was published in 1968. And discourses about the relationship between the Bible, you know, the pillar of fire that led uh, the Hebrews through, you know, their journey through the desert as being a, a possible UFOs, you know, those aren't new conversations. And so for some people, the Bible really is important to make sense of what they report as experiences in the world of UFOs as they try to make sense of them. So they have a reference then. Ah, that's what that was that carried, you know, uh, Elijah, that chariot of fire uh, that carried Elijah, who did not die, but was transported. Right? And so for people, these are really important narratives. Uh, in Jewish traditions, uh, Christian, Muslim, uh, and other religious traditions that have nothing to do with these sort of institutional expressions, the Bible still plays an important role in, in helping people make sense of their experiences and giving them a reference point for those, uh, such that they understand them, are able to cast these as sacred and religious experiences. I hope that helps. 